what has happened here is that when there is nothing there then whatever you do is an underground movement because it's not mainstream it's not fashionable and at that time i would look back to 2007 2008 kind of a time frame a group of us became part of this underground movement right and as seth godin says you know the tribe is defined by who you leave out so it was defined by a group of people you know who wanted to be in but you know they were they wanted to leave all the people who thought who believed in it services or believed in other types of innovation that was not product oriented they left them out right so so a tribe formed a tribe existed because it was not mainstream it was an underground movement and uh, and then it started focusing on you know what it sh- what should it do to grow this community this ecosystem that we are talking about and you know our initial inclination was that we should uh, we should use money to do this right if only we had money we could evangelize this cause much more effectively we could get uh, we could get other players like vcs to come to india we could you know make many things happen if only we could organize ourselves and have access to money and that access to money never materialized right and uh, so we were left to this uh, self help kind of a model and we we ended up uh, you know embracing this open source movement at that time and uh, we said what is an open source software open source software is people who are passionate about seeing this piece of software come out you know taking it upon themselves to build a part of it you know motivating others to build parts of it and lo and behold you know it will be ready and and that model of course has been very successful right i mean it's been very successful with software we all use wikipedia which is f- built entirely on the same model so very early on we embraced this concept and we said look we are going to take a shot at building the ecosystem in this model and uh, and this hadn't been done uh, at that point in time you know for ecosystem building and so so we had people who would really give their weekends up to do something and this was about creating a public good so it wasn't about evangelizing it wasn't about doing x or doing y it was always saying let's build something right what do we build we build a public good right and uh, how do we build it we build it in our spare time by pooling in the time and energy of several people and that luckily took off and uh, uh, and and that then that that movement has become bigger and bigger and and that group core group of people they have become more ambitious in what kind of public goods that can be built uh, so what started off as a as a initial conclave where once a year everybody in the industry will come together which is still active called nascom product conclave which started off like that but is now much more ambitious it's about you know off late the most ambitious version of this is can india go cashless in 4 years so india did this transformation where uh, you know many of you will remember if you wanted to trade shares there had to be paper shares and there were all kinds of problems and in 4 years it went from paper shares to completely paperless uh, trading and and then of course that had lots of benefits so now we are saying can india be one of those countries which gets rid of cash that you and i carry in our wallet right because we all carry mobile phones so can that be the replacement now that's a very ambitious Uh, kind of a public to enable this you need certain many many things that need to come together and and while the government can play a role you know this community that has got created can play a very big role as well so today this whole effort is anchored on the work on the public goods that are going to be created by these individuals which of course are software platforms are marketplaces that need to be created and and a bunch of stuff Uh, so this is the mindset that that kind of took root, and 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 that bet on organizing ourselves on an open source kind of a paradigm, organizing ourselves to build something for the ecosystem, a public good, has paid off, and and uh, therefore the ecosystem has started coming together. I am merely one of the volunteers in that movement. I'm. you know i mean and i'm it's very important for me to mention this because this is truly a collective effort of many many people it's like wikipedia right there is no one person uh, who can stand up and say wikipedia is 
the result of my contribution is actually literally the result of tens of thousands of people's contribution. The same is the case with what we are doing here in India. And this is getting recognition. So the think tank that drives this, which is called iSpirit, is now being recognized, uh, is getting recognition. Uh, Stanford GSP has just finished a case study on it as this new age of uh, think tanks uh, that they believe will emerge around the world. And so this is one of them. But that's not what we were seeking to do. I mean, we were, we were doing what we thought needed to be done with this kind of an innovative approach. But it seems that approach has legs and, and it's worked here and it ought to work in many other places as well.